Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you a house tour to view a two and a half story bungalow. In Saujana Glen Mary. This is a gated and guarded community and it's a freehold property which is very close to the Federal Highway. For those who are new to this channel, I'm Chester Cheng and this is my real estate channel. Let's go! Now before we begin, according to the YouTube analysis, I am surprised to find out that 90% of the audience that are watching this channel is still unsubscribed yet. I appreciate if you can take a few seconds of your time to click on to the subscribe button and also click on to the bell icon so you won't miss all my future uploads. And if you're watching this video from other social media networks, you can find my channel in the YouTube search bar by typing Chester Chang Real Estate. Welcome guys to this bungalow in Saljana Glen Marie. Just take a look at it. As you walk in, you have a nice huge foyer. Actually, the owner has extended this part of the house so you get additional space for this floor. This is actually the ground floor because this has a split flooring. The living hall is on the upstairs, which I'm going to show you shortly. So there, the owner created more space so he can put all his trophies and his things that he likes to see on a daily basis. And behind me, we have a small counter bar which, where the owner can have a quick drink and make drinks if their friends coming over. And here, we have his office area actually if you want to convert it to a proper guest room you can do so maybe just put a door here and then yeah you have a guest room and then if you need a bathroom there's one bathroom right here on this floor they don't have to run all the way up and down for any light drinks or snacks everything can be done on this floor so outside here which i'm going to show you later in the video we have a swimming pool or more or less a fish pond I'm going to brief you later on. This is a two and a half story proper bungalow. It's not a zero lot in Saujana Grand Marie. Most of the Saujana Grand Marie is zero lot, but this is a proper bungalow which has a left and right garden. So this land, it has a width of 75 feet and a length of 80 feet. So in total is about 6,000 square feet and the build up is approximately 5,500 square feet. So before we go up to the first floor, we have a huge storeroom here. Let me on the lights. You can see it's quite deep inside. You can store lots of things here. Now I'm six foot tall, you can see. I don't have to crouch to go into the storeroom. Even up to the deepest part, I don't even have to crouch. This is slightly above six foot. So if you are below six foot, you can just walk in. Like me or so, I can just walk in without any issues. Not to forget, this ceiling height is uh, all the plaster ceiling. They did drop the ceiling slightly to accommodate the ceiling aircon. So the measurement for this ceiling height I just did is around 10.5 feet. If you remove this plaster ceiling, obviously you can get a high, much higher ceiling height. So let's go up to the first floor. So as we come up to the first floor, this is where everything happens. This is a dining and a living area and also the kitchen floor. So this floor, as you can see, is very wide and very spacious. Now the owner told me they have spent considerable amount of money to expand this area because originally there's a lot of uh, clustered area. So he opened it up. In fact, spent quite a lot of time and renovation just to get all this space visible for, for you to guys to see. So this will be the living area. And behind me, we have a small little balcony as is this living area you can fit in a 12 to 15 seater sofa without any issues and right here we also have another balcony which is overlooked down to the swimming pool or more or less the fish pond and then right here we have powder room as well so i'm going to go to the other side of the house this will be the bedroom so this bedroom, well, if you have parents staying with you, I think this would be a perfect location because the living room is here, the kitchen is here, the dining table is here. So this room itself, king size, no issues. There's wardrobe behind me, this bed here. And right here will be the ensuite bathroom. It's quite large. And of course, this room is facing the frontage. Now let's go to the kitchen and the dining area. Come. 
So I'm going to explain the kitchen side for you first. This will be the dry kitchen. We have a lot of cabinets behind, a lot of storage on the bottom, and also this island. We have more storage down here. We have uh, oven and microwave. Yeah, microwave. <laughs> and then there's ample space for you to put in your built-in fridge. Of course, most of the heavy cooking will be done on this section. This will be the wet kitchen. Come, let's take a look. So this section actually has been extended. So originally, the house ends up to this wall here. So the owner extend this part for purposely to do all the heavy cooking. So when you do all the heavy cooking, the aroma and the fumes doesn't go to the living space and living area and dining space. So here we have also a door to access out to your side garden. Lots of storage again. We have fans. And yeah, I think this space, if you want to do heavy cooking with your extended families or friends or maybe a cooking class, I think this is quite big enough to uh, house at least six to seven people here. So now let's go into the dining space. It's just right there. So this area will be the dining space for you to makan makan. As you can see, lots of natural lighting from the back. And so because this is a corner unit which is facing the playground, we have more lighting coming to this section here to brighten up the space. As is visually, I think you can fit in a 12-seater dining table without any issues with lights here. And also fans and also aircon. This house has been extensively renovated. The owner stayed here from the beginning. Of course now because of his age and um, the children, some of the children have migrated to work. He doesn't need such a big space anymore. So I read at this corner, we have another area where he extended out. If he put all the showcase of all his trophies again, they have another small area for his office. Later, I'm going to take you a tour for the outside. Now, let's go to the second floor. Now for the second floor. Well, as you come to the second floor, this floor house the bedrooms for the owner. Now you can see this space is quite a large family hall here. You can fit in a four-seater or five-seater sofa here to have enjoy your family time watching TV. If you have guests coming over to visit you, they can chill out here without interrupting. And we have another balcony here, which is quite useful. You can have a nice coffee area to sit down. But probably I might suggest you do an awning if you plan to have this area as a coffee space. These are the bedrooms. And before I forget, there's a roller shutter here, in which you can turn on with this key to close and open so in case that uh, you feel that you need extra security you can shut it down here and nobody can come up to the second floor so behind me this is the bedrooms for the children as you can see this is a very huge space it's split to three compartments i'm going to tell you shortly let's go up to this side first so this space will be the wardrobe area just this space itself actually is one bedroom you can see there's six door wardrobe here and in fact you need to add more wardrobe space there is a slot i think you can just create one more here and this is a very huge humongous hotel style bathroom <laughs> as you can see i'm considered quite a big guy and you, there's so much space here there's one shower here in fact you can add another shower here so if you want there's his and her sink lots of cabinets down here Huge mirror, and here we have a uh, jacuzzi, and right at this corner is the WC, which is tinted. So when you close up, it's not tinted, it's just a uh, what do you call it? They just put a bluish tint here, so you cannot see through the glass. But of course, you take shower, everybody can see you because this is transparent. What do you think of this toilet? Huge, right? Actually, this toilet can be one room by itself. Now, let's go up to the second space so this area will be the study space for the children we have lots of uh, storage area cabinets l-shaped table here i think you can fit in about three kids here to for study lots of uh, storage as well and i think this space is quite cozy got nice window up to the ceiling height for natural lighting and uh, this will be the last area more or less this is the bedroom side the children previously they sleep together as you can see there's two heart shaped backrests so the owner put in two queen size bed will fit perfectly fine in this area here and we have a nice sitting area and of course a place for the chair i think this is to hang here but they removed it last space will be this balcony is overlooking down to the 
playground which is quite a nice place for you to chill and enjoy you can enjoy this space and don't have to worry about anybody as i mentioned earlier this room is separated to three sections as you have seen why is it so well previously there's two rooms here but the owner break it down and convert it to one huge bedroom so if you plan to reconvert it back to two bedroom i think it's quite easy for you to do so maybe you put another door here and then you create another bathroom at that side of the corner then you get the back the two rooms so let's go to the master bedroom come now this is the main bedroom for the house as you can see it's almost in fact it's as big as the bedroom for his children so this section will be the theater room so when the owner bought or he want to have certain entertainment and of course this room also have access to the balcony they can easily connect each other even from the outside and this door here which is actually hidden let me show you so if it's closed you won't know that it is there but once you open it opens up to the walk-in wardrobe we have huge walk-in wardrobe here from all the way up to the ceiling height we have more storage here and this also connects to the bathroom the ensuite bathroom again is very huge bathroom we have jacuzzi here we have a shower screen then we have a wc here lots of natural lighting from up here as well lots of storage here it's a huge huge walking wardrobe and bathroom so let's go to the main side which is the sleeping area now you can see this is a king size bed we have some storage area from left and right for husband and wife and then we have another counter here this is where they store some light drinks and water so they don't have to go down to the first floor to get it i think this is quite a good space maybe to chill with the wife enjoy some wine before going to sleep so actually this is quite practical because we have water here and also some small little fridge a lot of storage here i think yeah depending on what you're looking for but it's quite practical you don't have to go around all the way move around the house just to get a simple drink as for Glenmary residents most of them will come over to the Subang Jaya site and it has lots of varieties there's many food eateries here in Subang Jaya especially the SS15 site and so the SS14 apart from your fast food eateries you have like KFC and McDonald's these are quite common they have lots of local Chinese Indians and Malay eateries here in Subang Jaya as for convenience of banking there are many banks here for you to choose from from local to overseas bank as well not to mention in terms of shopping malls you have the one close by will be the Subang Parade and then you have the Aeon Big the Empire Shopping Gallery if you want to go for a bigger mall there's one which is at Sunway it is called the Sunway Pyramid next to the Sunway Pyramid you have the water theme park if you have children who is under 17 years old they can go to international school which are located at SS15 they are 3KL and also the His International School 3KU is also close by on the Federal Highway but it's towards the Subang Heights area Subang Jaya is obviously very famous for its colleges and universities one of them is the Inti College and further upwards at the Sunway area you have the Sunway University right opposite you have the Monash University not to mention for emergencies we have a couple of hospital one will be the Subang Jaya Medical Hospital and then another one is the Sunway Hospital so now for the porch and the garden area as is the car porch you can fit in four cars two side by side and tandem another two more cars and uh, because there's no gate here which the residents here doesn't allow however the owner has do the pre-wiring in case you want to on a gate and when the residents here community decides that this is acceptable then you can put in your gate for this garden if you need to park more cars maybe you can extend the porch area slot in another two cars here but if you like gardening, I think you leave it as is. So this is a proper swimming pool. It's about six feet deep, but the owner has converted it to a fish pond. If you want a swimming pool, you can reconvert it. Currently, the pump is for the fish and also the filter is for the fish. If you need to reconvert it back to swimming pool, yes, then you need to change the filter and the pump. As is, this is a proper swimming pool which the owner has intentionally built so it's quite deep not for children to play but mainly for adults so behind me this will be a sitting area where you have the owner have installed awning however because this house has a split format this ground area on the porch is lower than the back of the house so you can't actually walk through from this side of the garden 
but however you can go through from the other side of the garden come and show you so as mentioned earlier that side of the other side of the garden you cannot walk up because there's no staircase here we have a staircase to walk all the way up come below here there's some storage under the staircase so up here we go up to the second part of the garden which is behind and because this house is facing the side of the playground which is here so you don't get any blockage there's a lot of wind and uh, natural lighting this is the back of the garden this is setback so you cannot by right extend any more further you can however do an awning if you wish to now let's go to the other side that side we will see why we cannot come up from that part of the garden now here because there's the end if you need to you can of course do a staircase i think one staircase from that side is perfectly okay already you still can access out from your wet kitchen from this door here to this side of the garden so as i mentioned this is a proper bungalow you have both sides of the garden instead of a zero lot so if you are unsure what is a zero lot bungalow actually i did a video at usj heights that is a zero lot bungalow if you need to understand the concept of zero lot i'm going to share that video link up here so you can click that and check out that video too so now not to forget there's a small gate access to the playground so this wasn't there the owner made the gate so their family can easily access to the playground so thank you for watching the household video from beginning to the end and i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to visit that house in person do contact me i'll share my number up here and also in the description below and don't forget to watch more of my videos in Subang Jaya and in Glen Mary. I will share them in the box on my right here. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. It's linked at the round box here. So I'm Chester Cheng and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.